Hello students, in this video we'll discuss geodesic torsion of a curve. Let's be given a curve gamma on a surface S. And let T hat, P hat, and B hat be its Fernet's ray frame. What we'll do now is let's look at the configuration geometrically. There is our surface. On this surface S, we have a curve. There's my gamma. And then at a particular point, I have a T hat. That's my unit tangent vector to the curve. That's also in the tangent plane. We have a normal vector to the surface. So here's my normal vector to the surface. Here's my n hat. That's normal to the surface. Okay. And I can cross these things and get a triply orthogonal system over here. That's going to be n hat cross t hat. And now I have a triply orthogonal system. And we know, therefore, that gamma double dots has to reside in this plane. because it's perpendicular to gamma dot. We call that angle over there theta. So we know that gamma double dot is in the span of n hat and then n hat cross t. And that allows me to write gamma double dot as something in the normal direction, kn in the direction of n hat, and then something in the geodesic direction, right? So kappa g and then uh, and hat cross t. And of course, geometrically, what are these things? So of course, these things are the g, the normal curvature and the geodesic curvature. And of course, therefore, gamma double dot is equal to kappa n, just ordinary kappa, the curvature of the curve. That's the curvature of the curve. Cosine of theta, n hat, and then plus kappa sine theta times n hat cross t hat like that. Now what this is going to allow me to do is that this formula over here is going to allow me to find a different frame relative to the surface on which I can do Fernet's array. Okay, so let's do it. Now let's define, define beta, which is going to be what? Which is going to be just, I'm going to flip the orientation to t cross n, t hat cross n hat, and consider the frame Consider the frame what? T hat, n hat, no, n hat and p are not the same, and then beta hat, of course, right? Good. So that's a different, that's a mutually orthogonal frame too, right? So let's figure out the differential. So notice over here, what can I say? I can say that n hat, of course, is going to be what? n hat is going to be written in terms of, um, in terms of t, uh, b and p, right? So what's n hat relative to p? n hat relative to p is the cosine of theta, so it's going to be the cosine of theta p hat, and then the sine of theta b hat, which forces beta, by orthogonality, to be the cosine of theta cosine of theta b hat minus the sine of theta p hat. Okay? So I can write n hat and beta hat in terms of p hat and b hat, okay? because those things lie perpendicular to t. Okay? Excellent. Now let's find the Fernet's ray equations. Okay, so what are the Fernet's ray equations? Let's do the first one over here. The first one's the easiest. What's dt hat ds? Well, that's just curvature p hat by Fernet's ray number one. Fernet's ray number one. Okay. Now what is p hat? Well, I can write p hat in terms of those vectors. I get two distinct relationships, right? So the coefficient of n hat is going to be cosine of theta, and the coefficient of p hat is going to be uh, b hat is going to be sine of theta. So this is really going to be cosine of theta, cosine of theta, n hat times kappa, and then plus kappa, the curvature, times the sine of theta with a negative sign, right? That's a negative sign because it's the negative over there, so the sign's negative, negative. It's the coefficient of p. 
negative sine of theta, uh, beta hat. Okay, so what's DTDS? It's really going to be that's the GS, that's the normal curvature, KN, N hat, and then what? And then minus the GDS curvature and with respect to these beta hat vectors over here. Okay, that's the first part of the Fresnay array equations. Let's do the next part of the Fresnay array. What will they be? Okay, so if I look at DN, DS, what will that be? Well, that's going to be D by DS of what? That's going to be D by DS of this expression over here, cosine theta p hat, and then plus sine of theta b hat, okay? So let's do the product rule. It's going to be cosine theta p hat dot, then minus sine of theta theta dot p hat, and then plus cosine of theta theta dot, and then b hat, and then what? And then plus sine of theta, and then b hat dot, okay? Now I gotta use Fresnay array on this, right? So by Fresnay array three, what does this become? It becomes cosine theta, and then p hat is what? p hat by Fresnay array is negative curvature t hat plus torsion b hat like that, minus theta dot sine theta, and then p hat, plus theta dot cosine theta, b hat, and then plus sine of theta, and then db ds by Fresnay Ray's negative torsion, p hat. Great. Now let's look at what we have over here. So. Good, so we have some terms with dots, right? And some, these are the dot terms. And so what do we have over here? So let's look at, look at this term over here, right? And then this term over here, give us some theta dot terms. And then this term over here, and then this term over here, give us some theta dot terms with cosine theta and B. Good, and so what are we gonna get over here? So let's see what we get. So let's recall what N hat is. So let's what my t hat gonna be. So let's look at the t hat terms. So the t hat term over here is by itself. So let's look at that term first. This t hat term over here is by itself. That's just negative kappa n t hat, okay? And then we have cosine of theta b hat, and then cosine of theta b hat, and then it's gonna be cosine of theta, it's common to them. And then I have a tau plus theta dot. So it's gonna be tau plus theta dot, and tau plus theta dot, that was a cosine b, cosine b, and then what? And then we're gonna have a what? And then we're gonna have a cosine b, and then we have a negative theta dot sine p, and then negative theta dot, so then it's gonna be, uh, then I have a cosine of, th then I have a cosine of theta b hat, minus sine of theta p hat, that's a p hat, and so what is this over here? Well, this number over here is exactly just what? That's exactly just beta hat, right? So this is gonna be negative kappa n t hat, and then plus what? Plus this quantity tau plus theta dot, I'm gonna call that tau sub g beta hat. So I'm gonna define now, so we define, define tau sub g to be tau and then plus this what? And then plus this theta hat, plus theta hat. And this is called the geodesic torsion, geodesic torsion of a curve. Excellent. Let's do the next one over here. What's dBds gonna be? So let's do db d beta Well, we can do it in one line, right? So it's going to be negative theta dot sine theta, that's the derivative of that term, b hat, plus cosine of theta, cos cosine of theta, db ds, what's db ds going to be? It's going to be negative torsion p hat, by Fresnay's array. Then I have negative theta dot sine theta, cosine theta actually, negative theta dot cosine theta, negative theta dot cosine theta, right over there, p hat, 
And then what's left over over here? What's left over over here is going to be the negative sine theta and then dpds. But what's dpds? That's negative kappa and then t hat plus torsion b hat. Okay. Now over here, we're going to have a positive what? What are the t hat components over here? So the positive components, I have, a, I have a kappa, I have a kappa times sine theta, that's going to be the kappa g t hat, great. And then what's left over over here is I'm going to have some things, what's left over? I have a whole bunch of negative signs, and they all have a sine, they have a theta dot. Let's look at the p hat term over here. There's a th cosine theta and there's a torsion, so that's a negative. And then I have a sine theta with a negative torsion, and then a negative sine theta. So all these things are negative of what? I have a sine theta b. And then I have a cosine theta p. So those terms over there are exactly going to be a minus torsion g of what? Of n hat. So I have these three Fresnes array equations. So let's look at this one. So I have dtds, I have dnds, and I have dbds in terms of what? In terms of n and beta, in terms of t and beta, in terms of t and n. So I have a closed system of different first orders, a closed system of first order differential equations. In terms of the what? In terms of the normal curvature, in terms of the geodesic curvature, in terms of the geodesic torsion, if I can solve these equations, I find another moving frame which tracks the information of a curve along a surface now. So this is a surface analog of the Fresnes array equations. Thank you very much.